more sunshine on offer for many tomorrow away from a showery zone of wet weather which just continues through the day across Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England, although it will tend to fragment as we head through Wednesday afternoon. And then all eyes are on the southwest. This developing area of low pressure will track from Wales and the West Country moving eastwards through Thursday. So gales, outbreaks of rain, the rain spilling towards Northern Ireland, Northern England, more cloud across southern parts of Scotland, some showers across eastern Scotland through the day on Thursday. Notice this low though just moves towards the low countries as we head through the last part of Thursday and into Friday morning. Backtrack to Tuesday evening and it's wet across Scotland. A strong wind across Northern Ireland and Western Scotland delivering some showers here. A few showers continue anywhere from Yorkshire northwards. Further south, some clearer skies, Mid Wales, Midlands, East Anglia, the southeast. But a bit of a breeze down towards the West Country. Again, you could see a few showers across the peninsula, southern parts of Wales. Temperatures holding up generally, although a frost to start the day across the far north of Scotland. First thing then on Wednesday morning, let's pick up on this rain. So this strong wind continues to bring with it some intense bursts of rain across the southwest of Scotland, clipping Northern Ireland, northwest England. Showery bursts of rain tend to fragment across the Grampians, Angus, as well as Aberdeenshire down towards border regions. To the south, we'll see some sunny skies and just one or two isolated showers. And towards the north, yes, some brighter weather as well, albeit rather chilly. Now the, through the afternoon the winds will tend to ease across England and Wales but still a bit of a breeze running across Pennine districts from the southwest of Scotland and still some showery bursts of rain here as we head into Wednesday evening. Temperatures then typically around 9 to 11 degrees Celsius. Now through Wednesday evening and overnight a legacy of clouds across central and southern parts of Scotland, eastern counts of England where we could see still a little bit of wet weather but not a lot. Clearer skies elsewhere, certainly a frost across central and northern areas of Scotland as temperatures dip down to around minus two, minus three degrees Celsius. And thickening cloud brings out breaks of rain to the southwest of England, central southern England, as well as Wales through the early hours of the morning. It's going to be a chilly start to the day on Thursday. Northern Ireland, the Midlands, northern England, quite cold here, even some pockets of frost to start the day. And then it turns wet and windy. Now, we are likely to see gales across the west country even the south coast through the morning. So this rain could intensify further as it spills towards uh, southern parts of Yorkshire, covering much of Wales as well as Northern Ireland. Some showers running in across eastern parts of Scotland through the day. Brighter skies though across the northwest of Scotland. So all in all, yes, more wet and windy weather. It does clear off the scene and that means on Friday a better day all round, a lighter breeze, just a few showers.